Nigel Lithgow is exiting, so you think you can dance. On the heels of a sexual assault lawsuit filed by Paula Abdul, a statement from the TV exec who worked with the singer-choreographer as an executive producer on American Idol and co-created So You Think You Can Dance, provided to The Hollywood Reporter on January 5th reads, I have informed the producers of So You Think You Can Dance of my decision to step back from participating in this year's series. I did so with a heavy heart, but entirely voluntarily, because this great program has all always been about dance and dancers, and that's where its focus needs to remain. In the meantime, I am dedicating myself to clearing my name and restoring my reputation. Per the outlet, Fox and So You Think You Can Dance producers, 19 Entertainment and Dick Clark Productions write in a separate statement, 19 Entertainment, Dick Clark Productions, and Fox can confirm the upcoming season of So You Think You Can Dance will proceed, although without Nigel Lithgow, to ensure the show remains committed to the contestants who have worked incredibly hard for the opportunity to compete on our stage. No decision has been made as to a replacement judge for this season. This comes less than one week after Paula, who was a judge on American Idol from its 2002 debut until 2009 and appeared on the So You Think You Can Dance judges panel between 2015 and 2016, filed a lawsuit under California's Sexual Abuse and Cover-Up Accountability Act. In her December 29th filing obtained by E! News, Paula alleged that Nigel groped and kissed her without her consent in a hotel elevator while the two were on the road for one of American Idol's regional auditions. She also accused the 74-year-old of sexually assaulting her again years later, around the time she worked on So You Think You Can Dance, this time at his home. She alleged that Nigel invited her to dinner at his house, quote, to discuss other opportunities for the two to work together, but that toward the end of the evening, he forced himself on top of her while she was seated on his couch and, quote, attempted to kiss her while proclaiming that the two would make an excellent power couple. The 61-year-old is suing Nigel for sexual assault, sexual harassment, gender violence, and negligence, and says she has suffered severe emotional distress, emotional anguish, fear, anxiety, humiliation, embarrassment, and other physical and emotional injuries and damages from his alleged actions against her. In response to the lawsuit, Nigel issued a statement to E! News on December 31st that read, To say that I am shocked and saddened by the allegations made against me by Paula Abdul is a wild understatement. For more than two decades, Paula and I have interacted as dear and entirely platonic friends and colleagues. Yesterday, however, out of the blue, I learned of these claims in the press. And I want to be clear, not only are they false, they are deeply offensive to me and to everything I stand for. He said that he, quote, can't pretend to understand exactly why she would file a lawsuit that she must know is untrue, adding, but I can promise that I will fight this appalling smear with everything I have.